Uh, currently, right now, we are at Brazilian Top Team over here off of Leon Valley. Uh, the training is gonna be, it's gonna be pretty simple, man. In the first half of, uh, cause we do about two hours. So the first half is gonna be very like just technical turn, a little pad work here. And then the third half we're gonna be doing, the second half, sorry. We're gonna be doing more of uh, the uh, circuit circle dawn, more of a little bit sparring and everything else from there. So that's, that's what we're doing. Hey, you gotta get used to it. Give me a kiss. No. <laughs> uh, man, we've been tra been training for years. One of my main trainer partners. Uh, and then we've been here at BTT for maybe like five or six years. A lot, you know, lost count or whatever. But we've been here for for a while now. You know, this is our home gym and stuff. So mentally, physically, and everything, he needs to be where he's at. My other brother, uh, Alec Williams, man. This is my brother, training partner, whatever it is. My uh, my hug, my hugs, <laughs> whatever, whatever it is you want to call it, right? This is, this is the man that's been helping me with a lot of my camps, man. A lot of my camps. Uh, this is actually, yeah, just let me know the time, man. I'm Alec Williams. I uh, know Anthony. I came here shortly after I got back from Iraq, and then uh, Anthony was the you could already use the team captain. He's the best fighter on the team, and he's also got that uh, the right mentality for it. We've grown to be, I would say, we're we're pretty pretty damn good friends nowadays. Like you don't get to pick your your brother sometimes, and sometimes blood isn't as important. So he's probably my best friend here in San Antonio for sure. Yeah, like it, like it, like it. Just like the triangle, bring your knees together. Pull his head down. Bring his head down. Yeah, grab the belt. Down. You have the crucifix there again. Drop. Get the core grip. Cross faces. There we go. Well, I've been working with Anthony regarding uh, his jiu-jitsu. Uh, he's a fast learner. Uh, he's a hard worker. And this man, uh, he, this man deserves to be a champion. Everything you teach him, he gets it really fast. Uh, he's very committed and he's ready for this fight. He's ready to go. And if I bring my elbow towards my chest, he's gonna turn towards me really easy. Come towards me. Like right about it. This is what happens. Yeah, go back. Don't do that. I wanna bring his hand and I wanna rotate the joint away from him. Try to come towards me. Try to come towards me. He can't come. Yes. Look. So we're about, I think this is like the sixth week of training. Um, and we have like about 10, not probably 10, 10 and nine more days left till fight day. Uh, like I said, I, I train here at BTT in uh, Leon Valley and I also train at War in, uh, in Houston. So I go back and forth, man. So uh, we got, got a few more days, but man, I'm feeling, feeling really, really good, man. Really, really good. So let's go get this win, baby. <laughs> All right, uh, so that was that was the end of uh, about two hours uh, two hours work. Like I said before, it was just doing technical work, a little pad work, and then we got uh, most of the guys that have fights coming up in uh, on the August 21st. Got circled on, got the little work in. Uh, we're almost done here. I'm gonna try to go do uh, some nogi, uh, work on my technical term as far as what I need to work on for as far as the cage and everything. But that's about it for the day, man. This is Ben Lenny, the ugliest person that you ever see, but this is one of my main uh, wrestling uh, and just partners, man. He showed me he showed me the ropes ever since I started coming here at BTT about four years ago. So it's like I kind of had to like reset everything, and he kind of just remold everything together, man. So all, all the work and everything that I've been doing as far as my grappling skills and everything came came from this man right here. So yeah, he said it all, man. He he, he came here relatively raw, and has been probably the hardest worker I've ever seen in my life. Um, but that's not what makes him successful. I think what makes him successful is his ability to have an open mind and to be coachable. And so, um, yeah, man, sky's the limit for him. Just watch. In these next fights, I'm telling you, he's going to be a huge problem. Mark my word. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Two-time Master One Black Belt World Nogi uh, Champion and uh, Master Two uh, World Nogi Champion, the Black Belt, American National Black Belt Adult, uh, Pan Am Champion, Master One World or uh, Pan 
no gi champ. Uh, yeah. So it's because I got partners like champ, this, champ. man. This is the dude. <laughs> people don't champ, know. Champ, champ, people, champ. people want to ask. What's their? What's your secret weapon? This dude right here. <laughs> yeah. Appreciate that, man. But hey, it is champ, champ. <laughs> So, um, back like four or five years ago, uh, I was training with his, uh, with his heavyweight name, Ezekiel. He, um, he's Ezekiel Wiley. He, he, he fought for a PFL for a run of the heavyweight, uh, heavyweight contenders and stuff. But we were sparring one time, and then uh, we were just going and everything else, man. He, he caught me with a straight right. Boom, bro, and I fell to my knee, man. It just, it just exploded my nose. And automatic, man. I got the raccoon eyes, like really, really, really big, man. And uh, from, from after that, man, I had to go straight to the, to the emergency room and everything, man. They literally told me uh, my nose is broken. I had to go for surgery. They have, they have to rebreak it, and then, and then, uh, you know, of course, fix it and everything. But uh, from there, uh, I didn't, I didn't do the surgery. It's one of those things you kind of wait, just you get into a fight. And you break it, and it's like, okay, now I'm gonna fix it because now I have a reason to fix it. But it bothers, it bothers, it bothers me a lot, man. Especially when I sleep, you sleep to one side, and it's hard to breathe one way. Especially when it gets cold and you get all congested, it's, it's really, really bad, man. But it's one of those things that it's a process to get fixed and stuff. <laughs> yeah, Appreciate dude. you, man. Dude, bro, yes, sir. God man. support the squad, always, man. Always, always. Thank, Thank you, bro. brother. You're all getting through. Thank you, baby. Is anybody a coach? Hi, coach. Thank you. Say bye to the camera. Wait, what? You say bye. Bye, camera. <laughs> say bye, everybody. Bye, say bye. everybody. <laughs>